Fields Guide. All right. Presented Shoot. by the number one pick in the NFL draft. <laughs> uh, okay. 24. After, I actually didn't think Fields was. The, the, the interception was horrible. But, like, on the list of reasons why they lost this game, I didn't. I don't really have him high on the list. I think coaching way before Fields. I think there's a couple different conversations we can have with this. Um, but anyway, he goes 24 of 37. So he goes ends up going way over what we what was being projected as like the over-under of passing attempts. Obviously, they were behind late in the game. He did not get the over in yards, however. And in a very cruel, uh, <laughs> cruel ending, the over-under on rushing yards was 59 and a half. Whoa. He finished Whoa. at 59. Thank you, loser. And he did that with like... <laughs> You called yourself a loser there, right? Yes. Okay. Because you had them go, him going over. That, that was my prop bet in pregame. Yeah. Oh, don't worry. I think all three legs of my parlay failed. So hopefully you didn't listen to that. Uh, and then he had the bad fumble too. He's got to hold on to the football better. We I, we've been saying it all off season. The fumble luck was going to change. You don't fumble the ball nine times and only lose one of them. That's not how football works. It is shaped like this for a reason. It bounces in weird ways, and luck has a lot to do with it. And it doesn't bounce to you eight out of nine times. And uh, this time, it did not bounce the Bears' way. Early in the game, I thought Justin actually looked really good. He was he was hitting multiple targets. The short passing game was. I mean, I'm, Lawrence is kind of doing this. I, thing. I mean, it wasn't. I'm not saying it was elite, but at least the ball was coming out, and and, and there was some. I mean, nine of eleven for ninety-five yards at one point. He was, Who he cares? Was, That's nothing. I think like, I, well, I think there's again, there's two separate conversations here. I right. don't think Justin Fields is why they lost this game today. Right. Okay. But if we're gonna sit here and keep waiting for him to be the guy, do they only have six points at halftime? He holds the ball just too long. We've all seen it time and time and time and time again. He, it just, it's obvious that he does not see the field as well as he needs to see it, which is why I just let him sit. I, I think he has the talent to get there, but he's not going to get there if you just scheme up all of this vertical stuff so he can just get rid of it quickly. He's, you're just... It, 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 I'll give it, and nobody wants to hear, but I'll give a tennis analogy. If you never hit through the ball and you try to, try to get it back over the net, you're never going to get good. Are you you're talking just, about my ping pong game? Basically, yes. You've okay. got, you got to swing at it, man. You got to figure out how to actually hit the ball for real. He's got to, he's got to play it for real. Uh, down the field is where the money is. And they're trying to, like, Work the offense around him, or work the offense around the offensive line, and that's just that just sucks. You know, when he, like you said early on, I was pushing back on fans on Twitter saying that it, like just hyper focusing on Fields being oh he's not the guy when they were losing. I'm like, how can you say that when it was clear that a lot of the play calls were extremely questionable, the defense was giving up things, the offensive lines having breakdowns where he's getting sacked dead to rights on a rollout, nobody unblocked. You know, it, but then when you talk about, you know, 7 of 11 or whatever he has, 95 yards, you say, who cares? Well, theoretically, the short passing game, the little dink and dunk stuff is supposed to set things up for downfield. Sure. And so, and, and okay, I got a million things wrong. So we can go over that first if you want. But the one thing I did say at camp was they were not throwing the ball downfield, and I was concerned. I'd never seen a camp yeah. where in my life, and I've been going to training camp for 20 years, some bad offenses, and I had never seen an offense not throw the ball downfield at the rate this team did at camp. I, that's all it was. Well, whatever. It was a, it was a, like, a good call by you, man. Well, Whatever, and I got a million things wrong. I don't give a shit about that. But at the end of the day, why? Why are we not seeing this? Because I saw Jonathan Quinn training camps where they'd go four deep balls at least <laughs> once in a freaking training camp. Well, whenever they were throwing them, it, was, it, it, it rarely connected. Rarely. Right. So that's the question is why? And I, and I got a lot of pushback when I put that out, and people were like, well, they're gonna, they're, th this is what they weren't good at last year, the underneath stuff. And the, and the underneath stuff is going to set up the deep stuff. Well, it didn't, today it didn't. So, you know, I'm just praying it does next week, but that's all I got.